Now this is exciting. There's a lot in store, right? Unity 4.0 is, is like a major release with so much good stuff in it. And like any good Unity release, you know, it has a lot of sort of, you know, different types of things. So there's really high-end stuff. There's amazing new workflows and, you know, just sort of enabling features. And then there is a bunch of low-level optimizations and improvements and just kind of, you know, update, updating everything kind of. So we'll talk about a number of these things. There's Mechanim, the new animation system, which, you know, maybe for the first time you could say not only do we have the best workflows, but actually we'll be way ahead of anybody else when it comes to character animation. There is DirectX 11 support on Windows, there is very modern rendering techniques on mobile, and then like things that just make you happy when you use Unity. Two years ago, we met a company called Mechanim, and they have been working on a really next-gen AAA character animation system. And when we looked at it, we were so impressed that we decided to just buy the company. And these are the guys that built the Human IK, and before that they built Motion Builder, some of the most used tools in character animation. What they were set out to do was really solve some of the fundamental problems that you have in character animation in games today. So one of the problems in, in character animation is that there is a lot of wasted work, where basically you animate one character and then you use the similar animations and you want to animate a different character, but you can't share those animations. And this is because traditionally in character animation, the animation is tied to a specific character. With Unity 4, what we're introducing is a way to retarget at runtime and reuse the same animations on multiple characters. This has many benefits. For one, it makes the animations much smaller because you can use the same animations on, on so many characters uh, without having to have uh, multiple animation clips in memory. But the real argument for runtime retargeting is that you can create your animation data once and then you can create as many characters as you like and you can create them in 3D Studio Max, in Maya, in Modo or whichever artist tool you're using and you can put them into Unity and all your animations, your state machines, your blend tree will just work on all those characters. Another thing that this approach allows us is to fill the asset store with a lot of animation clips that are pre-made and work and this will really make it much easier for people to use really high quality animations on their characters. So the second thing we try to solve with Mechanim is to really build a super powerful character animation system that you can really do AAA animations with, but at the same time it is so simple that even people who don't know much about character animation can do it. So it's a feature that really scales from small developers all the way to AAA developers who have their own mocap studio and who are going to make all those big animations and just want a faster way of importing and working with animation data. It's extremely fast. We have an IK system, we have runtime retargeting, and you can have a ton of characters on screen with the system, more than you can have in any other character animation system on the planet. So we didn't just make Unity to be cool, right? We made Unity because we wanted to democratize the game industry. We wanted to make it so that more people could make any kind of game they wanted than ever before. And we did a lot of things to make that happen, right? We we made Unity ultra polished so you could really like figure it out even from, from the sort of basics up. We made it very affordable. We made a free version a couple of years ago. And uh, you know, the spring we gave away almost 200,000 copies of our mobile software, kind of for the sheer hell of it. So we're always looking for more ways to democratize game development, to make it possible for more people to be more successful with the wonderful games they build. And we actually have identified something we think is a big underexploited kind of part of the market. So with Unity 4, we'll not just support all the platforms we already support, but also deploying to Linux. 